Hello guys, this is Dr. Bass. Today I would like to show you what is in this box. A calibrated voltage standard. A calibrated resistance standard. And a calibrated low resistance standard. In order to have a um, very precise idea of the calibration and um, the accuracy of your instrument, you need to make sure that um, these are uh, properly calibrated over the time. So that's why I periodically check uh, all my instrument. And in order to do that, I uh, first use a voltage standard which uh, I will use to check uh, the voltage calibration of my instrument. So in this case, this one is a calibrated with the certificate of calibration here, uh, calibrated 10 volt precision uh, reference. So with this one and the papers with the temperature compensation and these things, I will be able to check for this multimeter and all the other devices that I've shown you. And if I know that my voltmeter is accurate, I will be able to measure precisely the voltage drop across this precision resistance standard. So in this case, this one is exactly a one milliohm. So this one has been verified, calibrated, and over the years I've measured it. So I'm pretty confident about this value. So with an accurate resistor and with an accurate voltmeter, I will be able to measure the accurate current of this source that I'm using as a current source. This is kind of my reference. It's not as precise as both others, but it is still uh, able to uh, measure and uh, output within uh, one milliamp. So that's enough for me because it's uh, at least a 10,000 count, which means that I can output 10.000 um, uh, ampere. And when you have a precision current source and a precision voltage reference, you can in fact calibrate this uh, battery capacity uh, tester because this one is measuring watt hour, which depends on the uh, voltage as well as uh, the uh, current with the amp power. And this is exactly the same with this uh, precision uh, single cell battery tester. What I like with this one, the uh, Sky RC MC3000, is that you can calibrate both voltage and current at uh, the millivolt and the milliamp uh, range, which is uh, very nice. So I can use a dummy cell, which I will show you. So I have here a dummy cell that I fabricated. So this is a four wire measurement, so I can have a current and measure the voltage drop exactly here. So I can also simulate a cell with this one and put it inside this device and uh, have a precision current source that will measure precise uh, milliamp power and compare the value with this one. And if this one is off, I can compensate until uh, it's uh, uh, reading the right value and I can do that with the, the all the same four channels so if I can do that for the four channels I know that if I measure a cell with this channel or this channel they will all read the same and that is very important this is in fact um, an error that I see a lot of people buy these uh, Litokala or the Opus uh, battery tester which are very cheap in fact uh, these are cheaper than this one this one is about $100 and uh, the uh, Opus is about uh, 50 uh, but the problem is that you cannot calibrate these you cannot uh, you can only put a sticker here and indicate the error and then go in Excel and um, compensate and recalculate everything but I don't like that I think that this one is the way to go so first of all, we will use this uh, voltage reference uh, to measure uh, if my Agilent precise uh, voltmeter is accurate. And to make sure that this one is uh, in the right range of temperature, I will use also this calibrated multimeter with 
the temperature probe to make sure that the temperature at which I'm uh, operating this voltage reference is right. I have the calibration paper here with uh, the uh, uh, calibration curve and the compensator, uh, compensa compensation curve, uh, if I can tell, uh, that uh, tell me at which temperature, uh, uh, what kind of value uh, I will get, uh, what kind of voltage depending on the temperature. So according to this compensation curve here, it's about 24 degrees Celsius. So if I look here, 24, the value of this voltage reference should be uh, near 9.99995 volt, which is accurate enough for me. Wow, so this is like very close to 10 volts, so I'm pretty satisfied with this value. So I can be confident that this voltmeter is accurate enough. So I will connect the voltage sensing wires, the one that measure the voltage drop across this one ohm resistor here. And I will measure um, this uh, current input. This is the lead directly for uh, the resistor where I will um, inject a current. So I will connect it to my uh, current source. All right. So what is interesting here is that I have set the uh, current source to one amp and the output is 957 milliamp, which you can see exactly here because this is a one ohm resistor. So I will have close to one volt voltage drop per amp. So if I want to make sure that uh, this current source is outputting one amp exactly, I will have to compensate for the value that is it is outputting. So I will make sure that I have one volt indication here. So I set. And we'll, we'll see. So. Okay, so I will double check. Okay, guys, I got the problem I had. I have set this source to uh, be in constant voltage, constant uh, current at one volt, which means that uh, the voltage drop across the wires are not uh, enough to reach one amp at this resistor. So I have to get the voltage higher a little bit to make sure that the one amp will be able to uh, be uh, uh, adjusted. So I will set the voltage to two volt. And now, boom, you see exactly one amp. So I have 1.000 volt across the one ohm resistor. And this source is exactly one amp. So I can be pretty confident, confident that if I use this current source to measure the milliampere uh, with the value here, I will be able to check uh, my uh, capacity meter. So now with the cell connected, I will begin to discharge at 1 amp using this discharger. So I have set the uh, voltmeter here to uh, 4.2 volt. So I will activate the output here. Okay, 4.2. And what I see here is also 4.2. So uh, it is accurate at least to the 10 millivolt resolution for the voltage measurement, uh, no load. So I will begin the discharge here and we will count the milliampere here. So we'll see if both are accurate. So let's begin processing. So we see the current negative because it's discharging, that is normal. And we also see exactly the same current here. So we'll see if it finally matched the 1.000 amp. 
It will probably, probably need a little time to uh, stabilize. So we see 900 volt, millivolt, 900, still rising. All right, and so this one is indicating minus negative 1.00 something. And on this one, it's about the same, plus or minus one millivolt. So this is about the, uh, the good accuracy I can get once this one is uh, calibrated. And doing so with uh, the four channels, I'm sure that each channel are calibrated exactly the same. So whatever the cell port I choose, uh, it will still read the same, exactly. So now we can volt uh, check the voltage. So, oh yeah, I will use this one here. So we'll check for the uh, voltage drop that is measured here, so, all right. 4.18, 4.18, seems accurate. And then we have 22 milliampere here, 23, and, well, okay, wait a minute, 25, 25, 26, well, it's still um, <laughs> latching, 27, 27. Okay, so I'll come back in a few minutes and show you one it's, when it's uh, 1 amp. Alright, so we are at 100 milliampere. Well, 101, 101. So, I don't want to shut down my cell phone for filming. I'm not sure if at uh, about 1 amp hour uh, it will still be on pause or something. I don't have any editing, editing uh, stuff for making the video, so... Uh, I will post the result in the description. By the way, if you want to calibrate your um, um, battery tester like that, there's a good video that someone else posted. Uh, I will put the link in the description. So you'll be able to uh, use that link and to calibrate your device for that. So I hope you appreciate it, guys. Yeah, if you like this video, please uh, comment and uh, put thumbs up and uh, subscribe. It will be a pleasure to uh, make other video like that for you. And uh, if you have any suggestion, post a comment. It will be a pleasure to uh, answer. All right. Bye-bye.